Hi. So why there is no deadline for uh, Therani portal or giving information or updating the information pertaining to non-agricultural properties in Therani portal? Kindly take a moment to see what is coming up on your screen. It's a news item published in Indian Express where the government informed the Honorable High Court against a petition that is filed on Therani concept. That government is forcibly collecting information or compulsorily collecting information on the lines of Aadhaar. Without any sanction of the law, the government is trying to collect information. Therefore, Dharani portal was questioned in Honorable High Court against which government gave a reply that it is not compulsory or there is no deadline. The meaning is one and the same uh, to give information or update the information on the Dharani portal pertaining to your non-agricultural properties. I have made couple of videos on Dharani, kindly go through the videos before seeing this video, you will get a better idea about what Dharani is all about. Now what exactly government is trying to do is digitalizing the offline records into online records. Now in our high court also the digitalization of offline petitions and offline orders was made online. But never in the High Court we were asked to give any sort of information because whatever the information that was available with the Honorable High Court, High Court was digitalizing that information. No need to ask the client or no need to ask the advocate to submit fresh information. On the same lines, in the Dharani concept, government can update the offline records into online records. They don't need to ask anything for a either the agricultural properties or the non-agricultural properties and do a door-to-door -door survey. If government is doing door-to-door -door survey, there is an agenda for the government for separate uh, purposes, for their ulterior purposes. So now, whether it is compulsory to give information or not, it depends on us. Because always remember, in today's world, information is power. That is why Google is more powerful. Uh, business concept in the world with the highest valuation so whether to share the information with the government which is already there with the government it it is left to your intelligence i don't have any legal advice for that if you want to help the government give all the information but if at all government want to collect information on the lines of Aadhaar, it has to bring a law at present there is no such law to collect information there is a law to update the dharni website. There is a law to update the information in the Dharani website. There is a law to do all sorts of mutation in the future pertaining to any sort of transactions in the Dharani website. But there is no law to update the information, collecting information from the citizens. Now, I will explain the logic why government is trying to collect the information. Because information is power, as I had earlier told. With information, government can collect a lot of taxes. The only purpose of collecting information is to use it as a weapon against the citizens for collecting taxes because the only objective of the government is to collect taxes because government can't survive without taxes. So therefore, in spite of having all the information in the government department, in the government books, undoubtedly, government wants to collect information from the citizens because it is an easy way because consolidating the information that is available in the government records takes huge effort so now it is optional when there is no time limit it means it is optional so government is collecting the information on a gratuitous purpose so if you have gratitude towards government give information if you don't have gratitude towards government don't give information and there is no punishment for not giving information. So government, if you want government to act on its own, government missionary to act on its own, slowly by holding the information which is your right, then hold it. No problem. Because there is no such law to collect information from 
the set channels. So government if comes out with a law, then we will think about submitting the information. Till then, my legal advice would be, it is left up to you. It is optional. If you want to show a lot of gratitude to government, give information. Otherwise, no, because there is no such law for that. And there is no deadline. So now, when can you give information? What happens if you don't give information? The information, the power the government has at present now is to tag the dharani with registration. Therefore, if you are selling the property, immobile property, either agricultural or not non-agricultural properties, right now, then I think you have to give the details. Then you have to get updated in dharani portal. Otherwise, you could not sell it. If you are not selling your property, either agricultural or not non-agricultural property in the near future or forever, then I think it is the burden of the government to collect the information from their own records and update in Dharani. It is not your burden to discharge because you don't need right now to register your property by selling it or purchasing it or purchasing any property. But of course, if you are purchasing any property, it is not your burden. You are at an advantage. But if you are selling it, then you need the information to be updated in the Dharni website and you have to give the information to the government. Otherwise, use your common sense. I don't think you do need to give information to the government. It's left to you. My legal advice is very clear, very simple. It's not anti-government or not pro-citizen. It's simply use your common sense because information is power. Remember, more the information with anybody in today's world, they become powerful. If you have information with you, if you hold the information, you are powerful. If you let it go to somebody else, if that, that be the government also, then government is powerful. Then you remember. Thank you. Thanks for watching.